All right, now let's get you more on the Ebola outbreak in West Africa from the World Health Organization spokesperson, Margaret Harris. The World Health Organization has reported that there's actually 124 new cases of Ebola in that region after a decline prior. Welcome, Dr. Harris, to Africa Live. Now, looking at this new rise in cases, how concerned should we be and is that an unexpected development? No, it's not an unexpected development. If you look at the overall trend, definitely the overall trend shows cases are coming down. But we do expect flare ups and flare downs from week to week. Now, some of this is because uh, we're getting better and better at chasing every case down. So sometimes you will see fluctuations from week to weeks in the numbers. But we know that we only have really a short time before the rainy season to get down to zero cases. So that's why we are intensifying efforts to find every case, find all the contacts and trace all those contacts and follow all those contacts in every district in all the affected countries. So there's an enormous amount of very hard, very painstaking work that has to go on right now to ensure we get down to zero cases. Now, uh, Dr. Harris, also one of the other issues is that 11 of the new cases alone were surrounding a single unsafe burial. Is public education still an issue? It, it, you've hit a very important point there. You're absolutely right. That, that is what we will see whenever there is an unsafe burial, we will then see a flare up of cases around there. And that's uh, one of the important reasons why we see these fluctuations in cases. Wherever people still feel that they wish to conduct burials like that and, and still do not accept that this is one of the most important in, in ways that Ebola is continuing to be spread. We've also found in Guinea, particularly, communities are still not accepting of the messages about Ebola and still are resistant to even believing that it exists. So yes, you're absolutely right. Much, much, much more work with communities, much more work with education, but also listening to communities and understanding why they still do not think that Ebola is real in some cases. We, that, that work, that's really important work, must be done. All right, Dr. Harris, we'll leave it there for the moment. Thanks very much for speaking to us again. Dr. Margaret Harris, they of the World Health Organization.